So after you got across the Rhine and you're there for a few days um, guarding the bridge, where'd you go after that? We just, it, it would, I don't even know, we just started going. And uh, every, every morning you'd either be the, the lead platoon or you'd be the platoon, platoon in reserve. And fortunately I got the reserve a little bit more than the others. Uh, the only bad part about that, uh, the Germans knew that we always had a reserve platoon and they knew that they pinned the front ones down, that were in the uh, attack, uh, then they knew to lob shells into the back because they, they knew there was a platoon back there. So you got, you got shelled pretty good. Well, we got shelled more than anything I, I can remember and that was the worst thing we went through was a shelling. How often would, uh, how many miles do you think you'd walk a day? Oh, it would depend. Uh, I, I'm going to say 10, 15 miles some days. Yeah, it, it was hard to say because you'd go and you'd stop. And you'd go and you'd stop. Uh, the Germans were retreating, which made it easier fighting than, uh, than, than they had it before I got there. Yeah. Did you come across uh, little towns you got to clear? Yeah, yeah. That One of my closest experiences was we were getting ready to go into this town, a little town, and we had tanks with us. And uh, there was a, a hill going down into the town, about two, maybe two, two and a half blocks long. And at the bottom of the hill there was a railroad track. And there was a little bridge going across the railroad there at an angle. And uh, I'm standing up there talking to the tank commander, trying to decide how we're going to get that down, down in there and whether we're going to ride the tanks down or going back up. And uh, all of a sudden, shh, right beside him, nick my helmet. And here, a sniper, and I don't know how he missed me, but he missed me, thank God, and he nicked my helmet there. And I'll, wow. I'll never forget that as long as I live. I could hear it going by me, and I could hear it nick my helmet, and I thought, oh my God, how stupid could we be? We're both standing out there where we shouldn't have been standing, you know, probably, so he had to say it's, it's, it's a fall of a dumb lieutenant. Oh, you think the sniper could see your stripes and he was well, targeting? Oh, no, he couldn't. You couldn't tell. You couldn't tell at all. You're blended. The only in. way you could tell, in our outfit, and I think it was in most outfits, you wore your your insignia on the back of your helmet. As a lieutenant, you had just had a stripe back there. Captain had two stripes, about that, about an inch long or so. But nothing. You you didn't wear any uh, insignia, and uh, there was nothing on the front of your to, to identify it. So uh, no, he didn't know. He just saw me standing there. And uh, then uh, an interesting thing about that, then we went in and, and cleared, cleared the town out up to the railroad tracks. And we're in a building right, right bordered under the tracks. And a sergeant come, comes over and says, hey, Lieutenant, we see that sniper that almost got you. He says, I think we can get him with a bazooka. I says, I'm not too fond of shooting the bazooka in the room, but we could do it because we had a it been like this, it's going out that window, and you had a, a doorway there. I said, okay, if you, if you want to do it, go ahead, because the blinds were drawn. And uh, he says, there he is. Now he showed it to I could see the fellow. He could just see his head down there, he dug into the embankment in the back of the Was street. he facing towards you? or? Yeah, he was facing right up towards us, right up that way. So uh, How far was we, he away, we, do you think? Oh, from us? He wasn't in more than uh, 50 yards at the most. And uh, I don't even think he was that far. And uh, we got the bazooka all set up and got it cleared so there was any backlash we wouldn't hit anybody. And they got him. <laughs> so it was, it, it was revenge anyway. <laughs> but uh, other than that, but I never knew, you never, I didn't pay any attention what towns we were in or the names of them. I, I, I didn't really care. I just. I just wanted to get it over with, you know. At that time in, in March and April, were you getting a sense that the war was coming close? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you could tell it was, it was winding in a way. But, you know, uh, if you get killed the last day of the war or the first day of the war, you're still a dead soldier. It, did, it didn't matter. I mean, you know, the fighting is still there and the, the hazards were there. Uh, we, had, I, we even got strafed one day by a German aircraft. Just twice. He came. He made a pass twice, and that was it. <laughs> you shoot at him? No. 
No, God, I'm, we're running to get out, get under some cover. We're, we're in this little town. He, he, he was coming right up the street. So we got into the buildings that he missed us. Oh, that's terrible. That, 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 they really threw out a lot of sh bullets at the time, I'm telling you. 